Everywhere you look, there's always something to be discovered. Check this out, a family of spiders. These are lycosids, commonly known as wolf spiders. This genus of spiders has eight eyes arranged in three rows. Hey, that's a lot of sunglasses. The female carries her babies on her back until they're ready to fend for themselves. just like a little kid in a lolly shop. It's kind of like your birthday when you unwrap presents, you never know what you might find. I'm about to lift up tin and rubbish in Jimmy's garden and you never know, you could find a snake, a centipede, a spider. So, let's just start here, shall we? Now Jimmy keeps all this rubbish in his yard, he doesn't like to clean it up because it provides habitat for animals. Usually, the top bits of tin, nothing will be underneath the top bits, they'll be too hot. But the bottom bits, which are insulated from all the other bits of rubbish, usually have animals. Come on, there's got to be something underneath this rubbish. Oh, so th this is a yellow-faced whip snake. Cute beauty. And look at this. This is an elapid, a front-fanged venomous snake. And look at that. Pretty pumped up. These ones are just sheltering underneath the tin, waiting to eat little mice and geckos and skinks. Look at him flicking out his tongue. I haven't caught many of these before. It's a beautiful little creature. Look how fast he is, lightning fast. Not a bad find. I don't want to get tagged by this little one though. Oh, oh look, look, look. Do you know what this is? This little type of gecko, it's called a bionose gecko. And the interesting thing about this gecko is that they're parthenogenic, which means that they can lay an egg and not have to mate with a male and the eggs are still viable. Pretty handy, isn't it? But males aren't obsolete yet. You still need genetic diversity, so. Oh, wow. That, a rainforest now. Cool. Ah! <laughs> a mouse! Disgusting. He looks like a native mouse, though. <laughs> Let's have a look at the rainforest now. Look at this. Even the snails take refuge underneath the tin. Fantastic coloration, look at that. 